We don't often consider the difference or really the existence of invisible assets. We learn to value visible assets throughout our life, which would be, of course, your job, your amount of income, maybe your house, your car. You know, those are visible assets. And we talk about keeping up with the Joneses. We're keeping up with their visible assets, right? Mm -hmm. They got a car. Oh, now I got to get a car. They put up a fence. Now I got to put up a fence, right? And we do that in so many funny, um, quirky ways, but we are completely foregoing in the name of those visible assets are invisible ones, which are your peace, your happiness, your, your sense of purpose, your creativity, your joy, your connection, your purpose. We sacrifice all of these in the name of those visible assets. And I'm realizing that for me is not enough to call myself successful Mm -hmm. because I actually had a lot of really incredible visible assets. You know, someone might look at me from the outside and think, oh, she lives by the water in Vancouver and she drives a nice car and, you know, she sells these million dollar houses and all of those were objectively true, but I wasn't successful at all. Yeah. Not on the inside at least. Yeah. Yeah. And true success is when the inside matches the outside. Exactly. 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 And and actually, when the inside matches the outside, that's when you start manifesting like crazy. Mm-hmm. What takes so long is fighting through and ignoring the inside and trying to go from the outside in. Along that vein, I want to talk to you about manifestation because a lot of people, when they talk about manifesting, they talk about like the physical things first because people usually want to manifest physical things. So yeah. do you advise starting with that and then going into inv- – or like what is your thought? Great question. So Mm -hmm. definitely not. That is actually coming at it from the wrong direction. It's so backwards, but you have to go the opposite way. And we can actually use the framework of invisible assets and visible assets to talk about this because when you are reaching for a physical manifestation, you're essentially, um, you're essentially craving a visible asset, right? You're saying, Oh, when I get that job, I'll feel better. Or when I get that partner, when I get that money and you are completely sacrificing your invisible assets. So your sense of happiness in the pursuit of that. And so you're in opposition to what you actually want to experience and call in. And so I actually get my clients whenever they want to manifest something to really connect with what is that going to feel like? What invisible asset is that actually going to grant you? What do we think we would get to achieve and attain invisibly if we had the visible thing? And then usually it's very similar answers for everyone. I would feel happy. I I'd feel calm. I would feel, honestly, a lot of them just say relieved. Uh, they're like, I think I would feel relieved because they're doing all this stuff in order to get that thing. And it's stressful. Your nervous mm-hmm. system is, in, is hijacked, right? And I'm like, okay. And now you're going to do that first before you call this in. And yeah. they're like, no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I want it first, right? Yeah, yeah. And so if we are still wanting something so badly, we are in lack. We're essentially saying, I don't have it and I feel terrible and I won't feel good until I have it. But what happens, the negative side of that, the darker shadow side of that is if you do get it, of course, you're going to get that dopamine hit. You're going to get that serotonin. And then the shadow side is now that you've achieved it, you've outsourced your sense of happiness and confidence and security onto it. Now you're going to want to keep chasing it. You need more. Yeah. And so it's not enough actually to reach that financial goal you had or, you know, that career. There's always now a next actually- goal and a next one and it never yes. ends. 